Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Better Lewis Minister Church here in Maryland. Today I'm going to talk to you about scripture in the New Testament. The New Testament talks about casting out of demons. You have in the New Testament uh, people who were out there using the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, sometimes Jesus said, let them cast out names, uh, demons in my name. And other times we see that demons attack, attack um, these so-called exorcists. Uh, that are out there, um, you know, preach uh, using the name of Jesus Christ to cast demons out. Okay, so I want I want to read some of the scriptures so that I could I could explain to you what's the difference. What's the difference? Okay, so we'll start off with Acts chapter nineteen, verse thirteen. It says, "Some Jews went." Um, I'm sorry. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Over those who were demon possessed, they will say, In the name of, of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered answer them, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? Then the men who had evil spirits jumped on them, overpowered them, and he gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. All right, so we have here Jewish uh, exorcists that were saying they, they really didn't know Jesus, right? They, they was just using the name of Jesus, and they were using it kind of like a, in a magical form, right? They were not using it based on authority. And so they, what they were doing is the, the, um, the name of Jesus who Paul preaches. They didn't know Jesus. These people didn't know who Jesus was. They knew that the name of Jesus was powerful, and they use the name of Jesus to cast demons out without really, not really believing in the Lord Jesus Christ for who He is, God Himself, all right, and our Lord and Savior. So th these were Jewish people who obviously not didn't have the Holy Spirit and were trying to cast out demons. Okay. So the next one I want to talk to you about is you can find it in the Book of Matthew, the Book of Matthew, and this one. Uh, it's chapter 8 verse 28 I'm going to start with verse 28 so this is kind of interesting because this is a story uh, that has to do with these two men okay so let me read when he arrived on the other side in the region of the gatherings two demonic possessed men coming from the tombs met him they were so violent that no one could pass that way so this, we're talking about Jesus here, right? So these men were so violent that anybody that tried to go through their area were attacked, okay? So these demons were attacking. But when they saw Jesus, check this out. When they saw Jesus, uh, they said to him, uh, What do you want with us, Son of God? They shouted, Have you come here to torture us before our appointed time? Some distance from them, a large herd of pigs were feeding. The demons begged Jesus, if you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. So you see the demons here are pleading with Jesus Christ. They're pleading, asking him. They're not afraid um, that of the other people, but they're definitely afraid of Jesus Christ. They're terrified of Jesus Christ, right? So they're not being tough like they did with the sons of Sceva, where they beat up the sons of Sceva pretty bad. Right, so here we see that Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, um, uh, terrifies this. They're terrified of him. Okay, they're terrified of him, and we see that. You know, we tell people. You know, usually uh, the name of Jesus is, is. We know it's very powerful. It's very powerful indeed. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you is found in Luke, in the book of Luke. Um, Chapter 9, verse 49. I want to tell you something. So these people that were doing this were Jewish people. They were Jewish people in chapter 9, verse 49. But they had something the sons of Sceva didn't have. They didn't have. And what they had was, first of all, more than likely, these people really believed in Jesus. They really believed in Jesus, okay? Right, they they knew Jesus, uh, they believed in Jesus. They did it because uh, they wanted to, to help people get set free. 
and um, you know so you know we have here um, an apostle coming up to Jesus and saying master apostle John said master we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he is not one of us so he's saying he's not w hanging around with us so um, what does he do Jesus says do not stop him Jesus said for whoever is not against you is for you okay so you read the scripture and you say oh okay well the sons of Sceva were for us no the sons of Sceva were for their own they were working for their own benefit they were working for their for their own benefit okay this man was working uh, you know because he was trying to do the work of Jesus Christ the, the work of the kingdom and so what we see here is that this man has the backing of Jesus the other seven did not have the backing of Jesus because he said they said the the, the the Jesus that Paul talks about the Jesus that Paul talks about so they really didn't know Jesus but these people these people in chapter 9 Luke chapter 9 verse 49 this man because he says one person one man right um, he's not one of us right? but he believed in Jesus and he had the backing of Jesus when you do deliverance ministry you cannot cast out demons unless you have the backing of Jesus Christ because what will happen to you is that these demons would you know if they don't attack you physically they will attack you spiritually so make sure that when you do ministry when you do deliverance ministry that you are you know understand your authority in the Lord Jesus Christ that you believe that you truly believe in Jesus Christ that you it's not by, just by word but that your actions actually show that you are a true follower of Jesus Christ because just saying that you are a follower of Jesus Christ by not demonstrating uh, that you are a true disciple of Jesus Christ could get you in trouble because these demons could see in the spirit world and they could see whether or not you're really a follower of Jesus Christ so anyways I hope that this was um, you know open your eyes about you know making sure that you're right with God before you enter into ministry any type of ministry and deliverance ministry right that you understand your authority in the Lord Jesus Christ and that you be actually believe and know that you have authority over these things right that you are a follower of Jesus and that Jesus will say you know he's doing what I want him to do let him let him do it and he will bless you and you will continue to 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 do the work that he that he has given you but there's a lot of people unfortunately that um you know there's a lot of things in ministry that will disappoint you you know especially if you find a dissociated part or something like that and so you might not even know how to deal with that you may think it's a demon and it will disappoint you because you you're asking yourself why can i not cast this out it's because you're dealing with parts of a person a psychological part of the mind that needs to be dealt with before you can cast the demons out but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a kind of a weird video, and it's not the type of video I I, I usually um, teach about. But it's it's important for you to understand this that you, before you try to cast out demons, make sure that you are really a, a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay, God bless you guys, and um, thank you so much for watching this this video. God bless.